Hello everyone! In the previous video, we have learned what conic sections are, how they are formed, and why they are called conic sections. Ngayon, we will focus on their properties at magsisimula tayo kay circle. So for today's lecture, we will define a circle and determine its standard equation. Magta-try din tayong mag-solve ng problems in finding the standard equation of a circle. Okay? So let's start. How do we define a circle? Let's see the given point. The set of all points having the same distance from C is what we call a circle. For illustration, Suppose we have a fixed point C with coordinates 3, 1, and we have this circle. Ayon sa definition, dapat ang lahat ng points along this circle ay the same ang distance from the fixed point C. Ngayon, let's try to take one point on the circle. Suppose that is point A with coordinates negative 2, 1. Let's try to solve its distance from C. Recalling the distance formula, the distance is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1, the quantity is raised to 2, plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1, the quantity is also raised to 2. Now, we let x sub 1 be 3, y sub 1 be 1, x sub 2 be negative 2, and y sub 2 be 1. Now, by substitution, the distance of A to C will be equal to the square root of x sub 2, which is negative 2, minus x sub 1, which is 3. Quantity is raised to 2, plus y sub 2, which is 1, minus y sub 1, which is also 1, quantity raised to 2. Performing all the operations involved here, this will arrive to 5. So the distance now of A to C is equal to 5. Let's try to take another point on the circle. Suppose that is point B with coordinate 6, 5. Let's try to solve again the distance of this point from C. Okay, letting x sub 1, y sub 1 be 3, 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 be 6, 5. The distance now of this point B to C is equal to the square root of x sub 2, which is 6, minus x sub 1, which is 3, quantity raised to 2, plus y sub 2, 5, minus y sub 1, which is 1, quantity raised to 2. Evaluating this expression, this will be equal to 5. Therefore, the distance of B to C is equal to the distance of A to C. Ngayon, if we will pick another point on the circle, suppose that is point P, Dapat ang distance ng point P to point C should be equal to 5. Okay? So, our point C here is the center of the circle. While the common distance here, which is 5, is the radius of the circle. Ngayon, we will try to derive the standard equation of the circle using the definition. Consider C with coordinates H, K be the center of the circle and P with coordinates X, Y be any point on the circle with radius R greater than 0. So, dito dapat greater than 0 ang radius para may mabuong circle. Then, according to the definition, dapat lahat ng points on the circle 
ay the same ang distance from the center. So therefore, we have the distance of P to C is equal to the common distance which is R. Solving the distance of P to C, we will let X sub 1 be H, Y sub 1 be K, X sub 2 be X, and Y sub 2 be Y. We will now have the square root of X sub 2, which is X, minus X sub 1, which is H, quantity raised to 2, plus y sub 2, which is y, minus y sub 1, which is k, quantity raised to 2, equal to r. Okay? Ngayon, we will eliminate the radical sign sa left-hand side ng equation by squaring both sides. So, squaring both sides, yung radical sign ng left-hand side ng equation mawawala at yung r I square, so we have R square. So, ang equation ay magiging x minus h quantity raised to 2 plus y minus k quantity raised to 2 equal to R square. Ito ang tinatawag na standard equation of a circle with center hk and radius R. Ngayon, if the center is at the origin, take note, ang origin ay may coordinates na 0, 0. Therefore, ang H ay magiging 0 at yung K natin sa center magiging 0. The standard equation now will become from the standard equation na X minus H quantity square plus Y minus K quantity square equal to R square. Si H magiging 0, si K magiging 0, so ang standard equation ay magiging x square plus y square equal to r square. Ito yung gagamitin nyo kapag ang center ng circle ay nasa origin. Pag wala naman sa origin, ang gagamitin natin ay yung unang equation which is x minus h quantity raised to 2 plus y minus k quantity raised to 2 equal to r square. Ngayon, let's try solving some problems in finding the standard equation of the circle given some conditions. So we have here four problems. So, I encourage everyone na isolve muna ang problems before tingnan ang solution by pausing the video and once natapos ng mag-solve, you can continue watching and check if you get the correct answer. Okay, so let's try answering problem number one. So, the problem is to find the standard equation of the circle with center at the origin and radius 6. Now, for this problem, take note the center is at the origin. So, we will use the second equation, yung x squared plus y squared equal to r squared. So, in this case, madali lang siya. We will just substitute our radius directly to the equation. So, our radius is 6. So, the equation will become x squared plus y squared equal to the radius 6 quantity raised to 2. And to simplify, we have x squared plus y squared equal to 36. This is the standard equation of that given circle. Okay, so let's have problem number 2. Still, to find the standard equation of the circle, in this case, the center is at negative 2, 3, and the radius is square root of 3. Okay, since the center is not at the origin, we will use the standard equation of the circle centered at h, k, and radius r. In this case, our h and k are negative 2 and 3 respectively. So, we have here the standard equation. 
by substitution, this will become x minus our h is negative 2. Just substitute quantity raised to 2 plus y minus our k is 3. Quantity raised to 2 equal to the radius square root of 3 quantity raised to 2. Okay? Then simplifying, this will become x negative of negative 2 will become positive. So this will become x plus 2 quantity squared plus, just copy y minus 3 quantity squared equal to the square root will be eliminated. So you have 3. So your answer is this one. For problem number three, we are to find the standard equation of the circle having a diameter with endpoints negative 1, negative 2, and 5, 4. Okay, so in this case, since the center and the radius are needed for us to formulate the standard equation of the circle, we need to find first these two properties, the center and the radius. Okay, so first we will find the center. Take note, the center is just the midpoint of the endpoints of a diameter. So therefore, to find the center, we will apply the midpoint formula. And the midpoint formula is given by this one x sub 1 plus x sub 2 all over 2 comma y sub 1 plus y sub 2 all over 2. Take note, this is a point, so we need to enclose this one by a parenthesis. Okay, so we have this formula in finding the midpoint, so we can apply this one to find the center. So the center now is equal to this one. So we let x sub 1 be negative 1, y sub 1 be negative 2, x sub 2 be 5, and y sub 2 be 4. So by substitution, we will have x sub 1, which is negative 1, plus x sub 2, which is 5, all over 2, comma, y sub 1 is negative 2, plus y sub 2, which is 4, all over 2. Okay, then simplifying, negative 1 plus 5 is 4 divided by 2 is 2. And for the second one, negative 2 plus 4 is 2. Over 2 is 1, therefore the center is 2, 1. Okay, so we already have the center. We will now find the radius. Okay, to find the radius, we can do two methods. Okay, you can either choose either of these two methods. So first is by using the center and one of the endpoints of the diameter. Just find the distance and you will get the radius. The second method is by solving for the distance of the endpoints of the diameter. Then the result, we will divide it by 2 because the radius is just half of the diameter. Okay? But in this presentation, I use the first method. Okay? I use the center and the endpoint 5, 4 in solving for the radius of the circle. So I let x sub 1 be 2, y sub 1 be 1 x sub 2 be 5, and y sub 2 be 4. So therefore, the radius now is equal to, distance formula lang ang gagamitin, so we have x sub 2, that is 5, minus x sub 1, which is 2, quantity raised to 2, plus 4 minus 1, so that is y sub 2, minus y sub 1, quantity raised to 2, okay? Performing all the operations involved here, 5 minus 2 is 3, 4 minus 1 is 3, so therefore we have square root of 3 squared plus 3 squared. Okay, 3 squared is 9, 
So therefore, you have 9 plus 9, which is 18. So therefore, our radius is the square root of 18. Since we already have our center and radius, we can now formulate the standard equation of the circle using the formula. And we have the standard equation x minus our h is 2 substitute quantity raised to 2 plus y minus k which is 1 quantity raised to 2 equal to square root of 18 quantity raised to 2. Okay, simplifying, we will have x minus 2 quantity square plus y minus 1 quantity square. Square root of 18 square is just 18. Therefore, this is our standard equation for problem number 3. For the last problem, we are to find the standard equation of the circle centered at 1, 7 and tangent to the x-axis. Okay, again, kailangan natin ang center at ang radius para makabuo tayo ng standard equation ng circle. In this problem, ang hahanapin lang natin ay ang radius kasi ibinigay na yung center. At makakatulong pong isang condition, tangent to the x-axis, para mahanap natin yung radius. Okay? Para masolve natin tong problem na to, we will illustrate the circle. Okay? So, we have here center at 1, 7. So, hahanapin lang natin yung 1, 7. So, we have 1. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, our center is located here at 1, 7. Since the circle is tangent to the x-axis, it should touch the x-axis at exactly 1 point. So, hahanapin natin yung point na yun. So, in this case, madali lang naman siyang mahanap. Dapat yung circle ay mapo-fall dito. So, it should touch at this point para tangent siya to the x-axis. So, our point of tangency is 1, 0. Okay? So, to solve for the radius, madali lang siyang isolve. We just count the number of units from the center to any point on the circle. So, from this one, so we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Therefore, the radius is 7. We already have our center and radius. We can now have the standard equation of the circle using the formula x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equal to r square. Just substitute our h is 1. Our k is 7 and our radius is also 7. So simplifying, this will become x minus 1 quantity square plus y minus 7 quantity square equal to 7 square, you have 49. So this is the answer for the last problem. Okay, that's it for today's lecture. Thank you for watching and enjoy learning.